While these seasons change four times a year, only twice a year there is a solstice. Today we are celebrating the summer solstice, also known as midsummer. The day of the year with the most daylight, the longest day of the year. After this day, the nights will slowly get longer until we arrive at the winter solstice, which is the longest night of the year. It marks the first day of summer. Most years this day is on the 21st of June, though in a leap year like this, it might fall on the 20th of June, like it is for me this year. To start celebrating this beautiful day, let's start with putting on something that feels so essentially summery to you. For me, this is a beautiful, summery, flowy dress. For you, that might be a nice light shirt, whether it is in color or material. All throughout spring we have been enjoying the slowly growing longer of the days. More daylight and sun, more energy. The world has been in a stage of growth and today we are showing our gratitude for the sun, her light and warmth and the life it has brought. I really want to do a bit of a journaling prompt for this video. I think one of the most beautiful things to really help you embrace a season, a change in seasons, a solstice, is through just reflecting and journaling, which is what I'm going to be doing in this journal today. So. I want to kind of focus on two things. First, I want to focus on my bullet journal and set up the coming months because I think I didn't set up anything after September and I like to have it quite far in advance so I can kind of plan things for the future. So I want to do that. But more importantly, I want to focus on just journaling and some journal prompts which I thought we could just do together to reflect on the past season, to really embrace the fiery energy that the summer gives us, the summer solstice gift gives us. So let's do that. I have my journal here. I'm going to be using a very summery pen. So just grab your favorite drink. I have my tea. Grab a beautiful journal that you love and a pen that you love and just let's do this. I will also have all of these prompts up on the screen for you so you can kind of come along with me. Feel free to just pause the video and do this alongside me. And just do what works for you in this of course. So let's celebrate these summer solstices together by reflecting and planning and just Harnessing that beautiful fiery energy and putting that onto paper to help us really in this next season. I really love working with a vision board. Um, you've seen mine multiple times before. I will have the video linked for you in which I made my vision boards, which I do around New Year's every year. Just a quick look, here it is. If you did not make your own vision boards, I would highly recommend doing that. I find it super, super helpful. I feel like New Year's is a beautiful time to do that. Honestly, some solstice is quite a perfect time to go and make your vision board as well. So if you don't have a vision board yet, or you feel like your vision board doesn't really align with you anymore, go ahead and maybe work on that first. But without further ado, let's get into those journal prompts. 
So we are halfway throughout the year. So if you set any goals or intentions for yourself at the beginning of this year, this is the perfect time to check back in with those. And if you didn't set any goals or intentions at the start of the year, but you would still like to do them, this is a perfect time to do that. Today is as good as time as any day. I don't think you really need that rigid starting point for any goals or intentions. You can definitely start them any day of the year, but why not do that right now at the summer solstice? So at the summer solstice, the sun is at her peak. It is the longest day, the most daylight is reaching us from that fiery heart of the sun. So what is something that you reached this year? Are there any peaks that you have experienced recently? Let's reflect on those. What were they? So are there any moments you've been really proud of yourself that you can feel proud of? We often kind of forget to really celebrate those moments. So let's take a little bit of time and really celebrate them now. What are some peaks that you recently reached? What are you proud of? What were your peak moments? So as the summer solstice is very much a fiery moment in time, what is something that lights a fire within you? What is something that makes you really excited, that gives you energy, that you really want to do? Really, what is something that lights that fire in you? And how can you harness that fire, that thing that really gets you going this coming summer? Do you have any goals or intentions for summer? What are they and what are the steps you can take to reach them? I think it's super helpful to break down your goals into a little more manageable steps. Lots of way to chill tunes, dumb drinking. <laughs> this is also a really good time to reflect on any New Year's resolutions or goals that you may have set at the beginning of this year. How are you doing with them? Are there maybe any resolutions or goals that are no longer serving you that maybe you already reached or that just don't align with you anymore? And are there maybe other goals or resolutions that you want to focus on a little bit more in this coming season? I think we never should see any goals or resolutions as set in stone. We change as persons, our lives change, and so can our goals and revolution and resolutions. So if there are any resolutions that are no longer serving you, feel free to let go of them. It is okay. I am giving you permission to do so. And if there are any resolutions that you really want to focus in a little bit more, maybe set a little plan for yourself on how you are going to do that. What steps do you want to take in this next season to work on those goals and resolutions? And also, if there are maybe some new goals or resolutions that you would like to add into the mix, go ahead and do that right now as well. Also, again, break them down. So what is something that you can do to reach those goals and to work on reaching them if maybe it's a bigger goal? After the summer solstice, the days are going to be getting shorter again and our energy is slowly going to be focusing back inwards. Which means that there is a beautiful energy of letting go, which will be even stronger in fall, but there is a first little starting of it in the summer after the summer solstice. So this is a beautiful natural cycle that is reflected very much in our physical world, in the changing seasons, but that also relates to our inner worlds. So after this beautiful fiery peak, what is something that is no longer serving you? What is something that you can let go of in this next season to make space for new things, but also make space for reflection and slowly going back inwards? The things that you are letting go of can be actual physical things, but they can also be habits, behaviors, maybe thoughts. So it can really be anything. And then a little bit less <laughs> deep, I guess. A little bit ser less serious. I want you to think about what your perfect summer day looks like, what are you doing, who are you with and are you maybe able to plan a day like that for this summer or maybe even multiple days. Feel free to plan multiple of those days if you can. Summer is a season of abundance. There is so much fresh and seasonal fruit and vegetables to enjoy so let's celebrate them in today's meal. Find out what is in season where you live and make something delicious with them. The more local the better, but of course see what is possible for you. 
and while summer is a season of abundance, don't go overboard. I know that I always crave lighter meals during the warmer months, so that is what we are leaning into today. What better way to celebrate the power of nature and the life-giving energy of the sun than spending a good chunk of our day outside? Go out into your garden, a park or the beach, feel the warmth of the sun on your skin or the breeze of the cooling evening air. <laughs> 